Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And today we're in the shed, seeking a harvest evangelistically deliberate. And uh, that's our theme for the year and our theme for these vlogs and, uh, and, and one which I'm excited by, this idea of how do we get intentional about sharing our faith with people and so seeing a greater harvest um, for God. And uh, we had a great speaker come to our church uh, recently to join with us for a sh uh, breakfast in the shed. And his name's Philip Gennardo and lead leader of Woodlands Metro and a great evangelist, really. And uh, he shared some really encouraging stories, but also some, some pointers in terms of our evangelism. We talked about building bridges of how we need to make connections with two or three people at any one time, non-Christians. Um, and rather than expecting them to become like us, uh, seek to find points of mutual connection with them. Go the extra mile in terms of finding out what they're passionate about and talking about those things and um, befriending them and spending time with them, quality time with them. Uh, and building bridges, being all things to all people, as God, uh, as Paul was uh, in the Bible, and uh, and so uh, hoping to save some. Uh, he also talked about being prepared to give an answer, and uh, and you know thinking about what what we might say if someone asks us, "What did you do over the weekend?" How we might phrase that? How we might phrase a, uh, an invitation to an alpha course, or or having something in our pocket that we can use, and and so that importance of being prepared. And he also talked um, about prayer and that's what I wanted to focus on today because that's the, one of the things he said that's stuck in my mind and, and I've spoken to a number of people who were influenced by that. He, he talked about asking the Holy Spirit as we pray for our non-Christian friends or family members or colleagues to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to us what obstacles there might be in that person's life which are stopping them from being receptive to Jesus. It might be busyness, it might be um, an undergirding philosophy or a consumerism, it, it might be um, a past uh, tragedy or, or trauma that uh, has led them to disbelieve that there can be a good God. Um, uh, it could be anything really and to ask Holy Spirit to reveal that and then to pray into that quite deliberately and to ask God to dismantle that stronghold. He talked about John the Baptist's ministry of of preparing the way of the Lord, of of, of levelling the mountains and, and lifting up the valleys and, you know, kind of smoothing the way, straightening the roads so that the God, God can come into that person's life um, without hindrance or, or without hesitation, that there'll be a smoothness to the way. We've got all the road surfaces around here being, all the potholes are being filled in. It's that kind of thing. And that's what he's talking about, asking God to fill in the potholes, to dismantle the strongholds and, and remove the rubble so that so that his message can get through and be received. And and uh, and believing that as we as we do that, um, praying as well for opportunities to share the gospel, that people will respond. Just believing that, being confident of that, and um, and I think that highlighted for me that there sometimes there are there are potholes in our own heart in terms of our starting assumptions. We think, oh, they'll never be interested, or I can't imagine them ever wanting to come to church, or I I, I can't imagine how I'd, I'd even begin to explain the gospel to them. And so we have these starting assumptions in our own hearts that maybe also need to be addressed and asking the Spirit to reveal those and to pray into those. The power of prayer is a wonderful thing and some, something we often neglect uh, and we often downplay perhaps in the in the importance of our evangelism. And so let's be very um, surgical with our prayers this week, asking God to lead us as we pray that he might remove the internal hang-ups that lead to external hold-ups, both in the people we're trying to reach and in our own hearts. 